Cora Louise Evans was a former American Mormon wife and mother and a Catholic mystic. She received visions of Jesus and Mary, which she promoted as the mystical humanity of Christ. Her cause for sainthood is being investigated by the Vatican. Cora Evans lived a humble life before death at the age of 52 in 1957. Her first mystical experience, an apparition of the Blessed Mother, was at the age of three. Many years would pass before she understood the vision. It is the lead story in the autobiography of her mystical life, Captain of the Ship. Her daughter, Dorothy Evans, remembers her mother as an excellent cook who loved nature and possessed a gift. Throughout her life, she would slip into coma-like conditions where doctors could barely find a pulse. At those moments, she claimed to be with Jesus whom she called the Master and other saints, sometimes visiting heaven and purgatory. Her daughter added that Cora Evans experienced the stigmata, painful marks that resembled the wounds on the crucified body of Christ. America has a modern mystic and perhaps future saint in a stigmatic and convert from Mormonism who, swept into ecstasy hours at a time, fell into what she was told to call divine slumber during which she allegedly was shown various poignant, vivid segments of Jesus' life and death. The mystic, Cora Evans, spelled out the details in a moving book called, Refugee from Heaven, The Mystical Life of Christ. Cora Evans found her way much into the Catholic Church at the age of 30. As she put it, I was without a God and religion, but had gained a very wonderful husband. As I looked at him and learned to love him more and more, I resolved to help find a God for him. After 10 years of searching, we found the one true God in the Roman Catholic Church. The Vatican granted Nihil Obstot for the cause for beatification and canonization of the Servant of God and the Diocese of Monterey, California, is proceeding with the investigation of her life and writings. Besides visions, ecstasies, and stigmata, Evans reportedly experienced the phenomena of bilocation, fragrance of roses, known as the odor of sanctity, and as a website dedicated to her says, profound writings far beyond her education level are not in and of themselves sufficient grounds for the declaration of sainthood. It is the story of her life with the proof of heroic virtues that places everything else in context. Her writing about the life of Christ, in novel-like form, is immediately intense, and draws one right to sacred spots in the Holy Land 2000 years ago. Is it all true? There are startling details about the character and roles of biblical figures such as Mary of Magdala. The book begins with the meeting between Christ and Simon the fisherman. Here is an example. As Simon started for Mount Carmel and the Sanhedrin, he noticed a tall, well-built stranger reclining on the beach watching the scene with great interest, wrote the mystic. He seemed intrigued with the quick obedience given Simon by his men and by the calmness and the order with which the people emptied the great kettles. As Simon, approached, the stranger arose and stood watching him. Simon wondered who he was and from where he might have come, for he was quite sure he had never seen him before. Then his interest quickened and deepened beneath the impact of the calm dignity of this man. As he drew nearer he could see his beautiful eyes quite clearly and that he was not a sailor, for his magnificent hands were not thick and calloused. Yet he seemed intensely interested in the laborious work of the crew and in their care of the poor. In March 2012, the Vatican's Congregation for the Causes of Saints announced that it was considering Evans for sainthood giving her the title, Servant of God.